it is so nice to be back home in good old Texas. Big old redfish. Ah, uh, yeah. That's what we're talking about. I'm Braddock. That's a big old catfish. Yeah. I think that's the one. One for the road. That's how it's done right there. Gotta love it. That's a full red. Oh, yeah. Gotta love it, man. Calaveras Lake. Look at that. Woo. I'm Braddock from Kai Adventures 210. And that's a solid redfish out here, Calaveras Lake. Y'all check it out. All right, how's it going everybody? Braddock here, Kayak Adventure Suno. Got the motor on the back of the Lynx. Let's get going, let's do this. Ooh, woo. <laughs> yes sir, can't beat it. All right, so for right now, our steering, just using a little piece of PVC pipe, three quarter pipe, just to get back down to the steering maneuver on the Torquedo. So again, we are running the Torquedo 403 Ultralight. We have the lat mounting plate from Louisiana Custom Kayaks for the Lynx. Uh, so we're able to not only mount the Torquedo, but a power pole here on the Lynx, which is pretty cool. Still got the pedals. We don't have a rudder. So I think it's pretty advisable if you are gonna run a Torquedo or any motor on the Lynx, Maybe just bring a paddle, and uh, if your motor dies, something happens, you have your pedals, you have a s one single paddle, which you can then kind of use as a rudder. Let's go catch some fish. Oh yeah, we are cruising. So here is my mounting for the throttle. Uh, basically, we have the Yak Attack mount to an H-Rail. We're just using the gear tracks on the H-Rail. And as you can see, we're at nah, 96% pushing at 4.8 miles per hour. Here we are with the Torquedo, pulling the Hobie Pro Angler. Good. good times. All right, trolling with the Torquedo. Nice, kick back and relax. 